What's going on everybody? My name is Alex Freeberg and in today's video we're going to be starting our basics of SQL series. Now in this series we're going to be going over everything you need just to get started and then in future videos we're going to be going over some intermediate concepts and some more advanced concepts and then in the final series we're going to be going over some portfolio projects. In this video in particular we're going to be downloading SQL Server Management Studio, we're going to be creating our tables, inserting data into our tables, and then in future videos we're going to actually learn how to query those tables. If you already have SQL Server Management Studio downloaded you can skip ahead to where we actually create the tables and insert the data into the tables. If you don't care about that at all and you're just looking how to query, I would skip to the next video where we actually start querying the data that we inserted into those tables. So to download SQL Server Management Studio, we actually have to download two things. And I have both links right here. And I'm going to leave those in the descriptions so that you guys have those. But this one is to actually download SQL Server Management Studio. So let's go down here. I actually deleted it off my computer so I could walk through this with you guys. So we're going to download that. Let's also go over here. This is actually a server. So we have to download a SQL Server. And if you go down right here, there's a free version. Now, I don't need the developer version. I'm just going to download the express version. It's actually smaller. So let's download that as well. Now, once this is done running, we're going to open it up. And I'll show you what to do next. So it just finished running. Let's click on it. All right, so we need to install it. We're going to click Yes. And this is going to take a little while. So this popped up. I clicked Install. And it's been running for the past couple of minutes. Apparently, I was not recording. So I apologize for that. But that's all I did. So now it's been installed. I'm actually going to pull it up right here. And let's open it up. Now when it pulls up, it's going to ask you to connect to a server. And that's why we downloaded the SQL Express server. So let's connect to that. And there you go. It's as easy as that. So now we have SQL Server Management Studio set up and we are good to go. So the first thing that we need to do is actually create a database. So let's go over here to databases and let's click new database. And let's just do SQL tutorial. Keep it simple. And if we click that, it's going to create our database for us. Now, when you open up the database, there's going to be a lot of stuff. You really do not need to know all this. Really, what we're going to be sticking to is this tables right here. As of right now, we do not have any tables, so we need to create tables. Now, there's two ways that you can do that. You can click right here, and you can go to New and Create Table. We're not actually going to do that. We're going to create it using a script or a T-SQL. So we're going to go over here and do New Query. And we will get started on actually creating the two tables that we're going to be using for all the stuff going forward. All right, so let's get rid of me because you really don't need to be seeing me anymore. Let's get started by doing our very first table, which is going to be our employee demographics table. So let's start off by saying create table. And we have to name it. So let's do employee demographics. And enter down. We want to do an open parenthesis. Now we need to specify what our column names are going to be and what the data type is for each column. So let's start off with employee ID. And we want that to be an integer. So that'll be like 1, 2, 3, 4, anything numeric. Now we want to do a first name. And let's make that varchar 50. If you don't know what these data types are, that's OK. Uh, that will probably be covered in a different video. That's not really necessary for this video. Let's do last name. We'll also make that varchar 50. Let's do age. Make that an integer. And very last, let's do gender. And we will make that varchar 50 as well. So now we have our very first table. Let's run that. And we'll see if it works. We'll go over here. We'll refresh our tables. And there you go. So we have our very first table. Let's go up here. Let's get rid of this one. And now let's create our second table. So we're going to do basically the exact same thing, but we're going to have a little bit different information in it. This is going to be our employee salary table. So let's do create table. And again, we need to name it and enter and open parentheses. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do employee ID. Let's make that an integer. Now we want the job title because we want to know what they do. And this one is going to be varchar50 because we keep it pretty simple. Whoops. And then for our very last one, we're going to do salary. And that will be integer as well. Let's see here. So let's create this table. Let's see if it is there. And there we go. So let's open up one of these tables really quick, see what's in there, see what it looks like. As you can see, we do not have any information in there. When you create a new table, sometimes when you open it up, you're going to see this. If you want to get rid of that, you just need to do a, I think it's called a hard refresh or something like that. But you can do Control Shift R. Let's see if it works for me. I just did it. All right, and it goes away. So now it recognizes it as a table. So we're good there. Let's go back here and let's get rid of all this. We've already created our tables. Now we want to insert the data into our tables. So let's see what that looks like. 
Let's do insert into, and now we need to specify what table we're inserting our data into. So let's start off with employee demographics. Let's do values. So now we have to select what values we're gonna put into, into this table. So now we're gonna have to do the employee ID. So let's do 1001. Then we're gonna do first name. So let's do Jim, last name, Halpert, and then his age. Let's say he's 30 and he is a male. Now, just for fun, let's execute that. Let's go back to this table right here and execute. And as you can see, all of our information actually went in there. So now we have his employee ID, his first name, his last name, age, and gender. Now, we need a lot more information for this table in order to actually learn a lot of the concepts of querying the table. So I'm actually gonna go through and add a ton more information. I'm not gonna bore you through that, but I will show you the final product before I actually hit execute. So stick with me. I'm actually just gonna cut to the end where I insert all my stuff down here. And then if you want that, I'll probably leave it in the description or maybe put it in my GitHub or something so that you can easily just go copy and paste that if that's what you wanna do. So I'll see you in a few seconds. All right, so I have all my values right here. I actually am gonna take this one out because I already did that one but this is our additional information let's insert that into our table real quick and go back here and take a look at it and there you go this is gonna be our core information that we are querying off of in future videos so that table is completely finished let's go back here we're going to get rid of this because now we want to insert our information to our other table so let's do insert into and let's do employee and now we're gonna do salary. So let's do values to specify that we're inserting values into there. And in this one, we have employee ID. So again, let's do 1001, that's Jim. His job title is salesman. And let's say his salary is $45,000. And let's execute that. And you can't see it, but down here it says it's done. Let's go to that table. And as you can see, that is inserted. I'm gonna do the exact same thing as I did before. I am going to fill out all these and in a second, it will be done on your side. And then I, again, I will leave it in the description or I'm gonna put it on my GitHub and you guys can just copy and paste that if that's what you wanna do or you can write it out, whatever you wanna do. All right, just like before, I'm gonna get rid of this first one. That is Jim, he is already done. Now let's insert this information. It is finished. Let's go back here and there we go. Now we have both of our tables and we are good to go for future videos. So thank you so much for sticking all the way through this one. In the next video, we're gonna actually begin querying the table and learning the select, the from, the where, the group by, and the order by statement. Everything is in these upcoming videos, so stick around and we will learn all of that together. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.